Hello everybody. In this video we will learn about how to use the tool container to isolate a section or a process. By definition, it helps users organize the tools in a workflow. You can see this as grouping of various elements in the canvas. You can expand or collapse it, and more importantly, it can be disabled to prevent the tools inside from running. Let me show you an example. What you see before me is a workflow. A very simple one. The first tool, which is collecting the input from a given file. It has 417 employee records, some of which could be duplicated and may not be clean. The next workflow element is data cleansing. This ensures that the name does not have a leading space. Furthermore, if there are any trailing white spaces, that should also be eliminated. Once that is done, the next workflow element is applying a filter which takes out records, whether the salary exceeds 50,000 US dollars, and the answer is in true or false. Based on that, the browse tool will let me see a peek inside the data. The data quality, to be more precise. Simultaneously, there's a workflow element called output, and it will generate a file based on the true condition of the filter. Now if I run this flow by pressing Ctrl R or clicking on this button, there will be a file generated on my desktop, and this will contain the filtered data. Let me show you. Here is what I see. It's the output.csv file. Let me open it. And what I see is, if I take up the name, it will show me 127 records. Now let me come back to the workflow. What if during the testing phase of the workflow, I want to disable this particular step where the file is not generated. So what I do, I go to the documentation tab from the palette. There is something called tool container. I drag and drop it on the canvas. And then I put the output tool element inside the container. Let me optimize the placement. Now, what can you do with the container tool? One, you can collapse it and you can expand it. And when you have many elements in your workflow, this is a very good way to organize the clutter. The next thing you can do is, you can click on this button, which is appearing at the top left corner. It disables the container, which means once this workflow is executed or run, the output file will not be generated. You can enable or disable from here. Once you click on the container, the left-hand side of the configuration there also you see a checkbox saying disabled. It has the same meaning as what you could have clicked upon here or here. So let me disable the container. Let me make sure the output file that we generated a few seconds back is deleted first. So I will delete the output file. And let me come back to the Altrix workflow. I'm going to rerun this entire workflow again. Finish running this workflow. And as I press OK and I minimize the Altrix window, I don't see any file appearing on the desktop. So, this is what a container does. It allows you to organize the different elements and tools of your workflow in one area. You can expand it, you can collapse it, and you can also disable it. Just in case, if you want to move this across, they take all the elements of the container along with it. Hope you found our trick on the tool container worthy. Thanks for watching.